Today's video test, how long does the cold weather package take to defog the side view mirrors? Not quite perfect test conditions, but uh, it'll give us a rough idea. And I started the defrosters, uh, which will do the rear window and the side view mirrors at the same time with the cold weather package, um, the same time I started the record on the video. Now, if you do not have the cold weather package, your car still includes uh, Somehow my car just locked itself thinking I'm not in. What the heck? Firmware 8 is kind of crazy. Uh, anyways, um, if you do not have the cold weather package, uh, it will also, it will still defrost and defog your trunk window. It will not do the side view mirrors. And a neat little add-on with the Remote S app. Uh, it will also show you uh, if your defrosters are turned on. And we are currently drawing 2.6 amps from the battery or uh, the defrosters are sucking down 1.82 miles per hour. So you're losing 1.82 miles per hour with the trunk whoops, and side view mirror defrosters turned on. Now this is condensation from overnight, just the dew, I mean, it's, uh, we're at like 70 degrees during the day and we're at 40 degrees Fahrenheit at night, so I mean, we're getting our temperature swings, we're going to, I mean, this is October, so it's kind of common for Wisconsin, and of course I will do the de-ice. Still going. Now, if I was driving, chances are it would have worked a little better. Whoa! Check that out. I can see steam. Steam's coming off the window. Not sure if you guys can see it. be cool if I could use a thermal camera on here, but uh, given the reflective nature of the mirror, that would not work too well. <clears throat> also the defroster strips, it starts here, and there's a little line that goes all the way around and goes over here. And there's another one that does a whole circle. Uh, the, that's also part of the uh, the chromatic. The uh, chromatic mirror there. At least I think that's the defroster strip. I got to see one of these while it was taken apart once. But that was one of the early ones and it's been a while. You can sure see steam coming off the, win uh, the mirror though. Now, if I was moving, it would actually defrost quicker, or defog, I can't say defrost because it's not frozen, defog quicker because, you know, some air movement would help dissipate the moisture. And the humidity, humidity level is actually pretty high right now. Passenger mirror's already done. Let's zoom in over there. That one's pretty much done. 
Kühlschrank. Now even on the trunk, the moisture is on the outside, not the inside. So we're at five minutes from a standstill. Passenger mirror is completely done. Oh wow, actually that is warm. That's very warm. I've actually always had a problem on my old one. I haven't had uh, this 90D through the winter yet. Uh, just uh, one snowstorm and that was it. And that was a snowstorm where it dumped, you know, a couple inches of snow on us and then it was all melted and gone by the end of the day. So it doesn't really count too much. Um, but my old 60 Model S was um, just the way the sun comes over the trees every morning. The passenger side was always thawed in the morning, at least of ice. But the driver's side, because the sun just didn't hit it once the you know the earth shifts for the winter time, um, coming over that tree right there in the morning, um, I'd always have like a sheet of ice over the side view mirror, and there was no option to get that defroster when I got my first car. almost done. Let's see if we can get a better view. I'd say at this point it, everything would be, you know, visible through the mirror. Whereas uh, when I started it would be hard pressed, you'd be hard pressed to see anything off the side. Other than just a little bit at the top, I'd pretty much say it's done. But I never, you know, I really never got to try this in its full effect. Because when I got the car, it was pretty much springtime. But that is, the housing's cold. But the mirror itself is actually really, really warm. Let's try something here. I am running out of things to test for you guys. Oh! Military jet. Too fast for me to lock on with my focus. <laughs> Nope, sorry. Thought we could get a neat little view behind the glass, but nope. So, uh, I think that was, to make it from, to get it viewable, restore, not driver profiles. To get it viewable, it was only maybe two minutes, three minutes. Um, to get it back completely clear, maybe seven minutes for the drivers in this case, and it was only maybe about four minutes for the passenger. Uh, the trunk window is pretty much done. 
and all this moisture is on the outside of the car, not the inside. So it can take a little longer. If it was on the inside, the trunk window would have defrosted much quicker. And sorry, despite uh, it, um, what pe some people think, it was a rumor and uh, clever photoshopping. The Model S does not have heated or cooled cup holders. Uh, got the steering wheel, heated def wiper blades. I'd love to test that out soon. Actually, no, I don't. All off. But it's not turning all off. Oh, I even forgot I had rear heated seats. Holy crap, let's turn everything on. Waste a ton of power. Okay, how about that? How much power? Oh, that, but that's gotta be a new video. Smile, cheese.